Well, hello, renegades. It is Ken Lawson, the Renaissance man. And I am back with another Ren. Well, the big push, weight in the water, Nina Simone, trouble so hard, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I can preface this by saying that I, I can't say I'm like a huge fan of Nina Simone in the way that I know a ton of her music. But I do know several songs and I am, I, I just love, love her voice. Um, and I watched a documentary on her and did not know that she was also a concert pianist and that that's how she started was wanting to break into like a Philharmonic kind of thing as a pianist and be a featured soloist and all that. And then she was told, well, you're going to have to sing. Because if you're not doing that and you're just trying to perform, you're going to have to sing or else people aren't going to want to watch. So she started singing and then that happened. <laughs> it's kind of like the same thing with Barry White. He was a producer and, uh, you know, helped arrange and everything and all that. And then someone didn't show up for their session like they were supposed to. So he went ahead and sang and then... He becomes one of the iconic voices of all time, just like Nina Simone. So, with Wren being an iconic voice of this time, um, maybe not as well known as others, but still, I think, just a very iconic voice. I can't wait to see what he does with this and what his band, well, what the Big Push does with this. Can't just call it his band. It's, you know, the band. So we're going to jump into this. I appreciate all the support from Renegades. It has been very nice, and I look forward to just continuing this journey with you. And we will jump right in. I don't want to hold you up too much from your day, right? All right. Let's go ahead and get into this. And we are, oh, by the way, the last one I watched was War Pigs. If you haven't watched it, I freaking loved that one. Um, I like the others too, but, but the War Pigs one just really hit me right. Um, so anyway, we'll jump into this in three, two, one. And Rin playing bass, a first for me. Tasty. go back the guy rubbing the back of his head that was funny um and i don't know if they had not planned on doing this or if they just jumped into it but i'll look it up uh really really cool and leave it to ren to have the bass be the lead instrument um i don't know why he's hooking up another strap maybe it's got a mic uh, microphone or something or you know, some kind of transmitter on it, but either way, uh, just watch him rub the back of Ren's head. It is, it, it's classic. In the water. Kind of thing I would do live. <laughs> I said, who's that young girl? Ooh. Dressed all in black. <laughs> I mean, this is really weird. <laughs> in the water. Nothing more alive than that, is there? Must be some kind of angel. That was great. 
And Moses laughed I said, my God is gonna trouble the world up I said, wait You know I'm going back on all that. Okay, I got to go back and hear pretty much all of that again. Um, God, he is so vocally talented. Um, His runs are unique. And the way he takes them from, you know, just jumping octaves and and still keeping it unique and all that. And now he's going to do a bass solo, I assume, which is going to be phenomenal. God damn. I'm just so impressed with him. It It's... I'm so glad he found guys to play with him that just fit. Mm. That little crash that he's got just shimmers. Listen to that. It's like a China crash. That's beautiful. Oh. Let me go back just a little bit there. And I do want to point out one thing. Um... This is basically a Nina Simone tribute. He's doing what made Nina Simone great to me. And that's letting vocals be dirty and, and not precise. It's what made Nina Simone great. She, it was about the emotion of the song and not about this note has to be perfect and this note has to be perfect and this placement and all that. It was letting it be ugly and dirty at times. And he's pulling that off phenomenally well and playing a bass solo. Come on. That thunder in the in there. Don't nobody know. Don't nobody know my. Don't nobody know my. Don't nobody know. Ooh, I love him going down low with it. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow. Is he going to do Feeling Good? I love doing that song. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Mm. Great. Um, The thing I want to point out, I was talking about how much that crash sounded phenomenal. It's that damn uh, Evolution Ozone crash that I just, it is my favorite crash. I picked it up from how using it with the warning and ever since she started using it and I've heard it in the mix it's it's a go-to crash I do when I'm mixing I put it in in places because it just has a flavor and this guy having it you I mean you know you heard I caught it right off <laughs> um I I'm curious to hear the other guy's voice uh I know he harmonized 
Um, oh, this isn't a red suspender show, but that's okay. But wow, I boy, what nice, and it, it feels like they just winging it. Listen to that, using it as a ride. That's cool. Slide high, you know how I feel. Mm. As sun, sun, sky, you know how I feel. It's drifting on my Oh, nice, dude. You know how I feel. It's a new dawn. Listen to this damn bass run that Ren does as he comes to that. To me, this is this is what playing live should be. It shouldn't just be, we're doing this cover song, we're going to the next cover song. It needs to have some free flow to it, and every once in a while, just be like, let's try this, let's try that. Those were some of my favorite gigs playing out, or when things didn't work out the way we wanted, and we had to just vamp and figure shit out on the fly, you know? Um those are when the moments came. The rest is just covers, you know? But, man, they work so well together. He does so much with that little drum set. <laughs> oh. and always the great choice of chord or note at the end mm. god <laughs> it's so funny the artists i've been watching lately have just been impressing the shit out of me um I just now watched my first full Billie Eilish. I never thought it'd be like, oh, let me go check out Billie Eilish. But I just decided on a whim that I wanted to check one out. Uh, because 
the times I've heard her, I loved her voice. And so I wanted to check out like a whole song. Um, and I was not disappointed. She is an incredibly unique sounding artist. Um, it's a different style than Wren and different than Chinchilla and, you know, all these different ones, Aurora. You can tell I like unique artists. Um, I like ones that just have a different flavor than anybody else. Um, so my others like Deanna and Kudanova and uh, um, Angelina Jordan. They're just just ones that have soul to them. And Wren is at the top of that list. Come on in, Vic. So anyway, that was phenomenal, just like the other one. And like I said, I'll be coming back with more uh, Big Push because I still have to do Paint It Black. And I'll be getting back with a lot more. So anyway, like, subscribe, do those things. And you all have a great day, great night, great life. I'll see you soon. Bye.